everyone and welcome back to stylish ninja youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to stylish ninja youtube channel i thank you guys for your love for your support i really appreciate each and every one of you that have supported stylish ninja youtube channel actually don't take it for granted thank you so much guys i appreciate each and every one of you okay guys so if you are new to the channel you're highly and very 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 welcome if you have not subscribed please i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also to get an update whenever i upload a new video so that's just like basically the essence of hitting on that bell okay guys so in today's um, video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew an inbuilt corset so that's what we're going to learn how to cut and sew today so this one is for a top so that's what we're going to learn how to do today is a very simple process and this pattern you can actually use it even if it's not a corset it's really good for people that have tummy that's if you have a protruding tummy if you have a client that have a protruding tummy even if you are making a a, a gown or you are making a a blouse just like a straight blouse or you can actually add that in built inside so it actually helps to snatch the the waist inside so it's, it's, it's really helpful so you can make use of this pattern so you can follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook pinterest instagram all at stylish niger and then if you want to register for our online classes you can just see my number scrolling through the screen send me a message on whatsapp i'll give you the details of the classes we have available all right guys so now let's get started back to our materials needed for this tutorial okay guys so these are the materials that i'm going to be making use of now for this small in beauty corset so i have my ankara fabric here so this is about two yards of ankara and then i've got my lining piece also and then i have a, a paper gun i have my hair stay and then of course i have my boning and then i've got my my bra cup so the bra cup size i'm making use of is the size of my client's box which is 42 so my bra cup is 42 is size 42 so the next thing we're going to do now so we're going to use a very simple method for this so i already have this video on my channel but i'm just going to do the bra cup the direct bra cup method so this is like the simplest and easiest method of uh, cutting and sewing a corset so that's what we're going to make use of for this so i'm going to show you guys how to place it properly and then we're going to cut it out in no time okay guys so i'm making use of my basic body so this is my client's full body measurement so you draft your basic bodies according to the full measurement so i have some lines here so this is this first line here is my shoulder line and then from my shoulder to my bust and um, point is 11 so this is my bust line and then from the shoulder to the under bust i have 14.5 so this is my under bust and then this is my waist or my half cut or this is the waist and then this is the full length of my corset blouse so like i said we're making use of the bra cup method which is like the simplest and easiest method so because i'm going to add boning on this so what i'm going to do i'm going to come to this center part like this so i'll mark one inch so it depends on how many inches you can use one inch which is okay so that one inch i'm just going to run it down from the top to the bottom like this so I've run the, the one inch on that on that point. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my bra cups like this. So this is my under post. So you can see how the bra cup is sitting nicely. So I'm going to come to this point like this. That my one inch point. I'll place my bra cup like this on it. So I'm making sure that my bra cup is just a little bit above my under post line. So I don't want it to stay directly on top so you can see so the next thing is just for me to curve this out like this and then once i curve this out i'll just tilt it towards this part like this i'll tilt it towards this part so you can see what i have so on this side so this part this line this my armhole line is my chest line from shoulder to chest line standard which is eight inches so i'll just blend this into this point like this just blend it into the into the armhole area like this so it's not too sharp so that's that's what i've done with our corset very simple so for this corset because i'm going to add a yoke so what i'm going to do since i want to add a yoke i want my yoke to be straight 
so i'll come like this i'll use my chest line point so i'm just going to mark it so this is the same eight inches that that, that is running from this point like this straight like this so i'm just going to mark this now like this i'll mark it straight I'll just mark it straight. So that is how it goes. So if you want, if you want to, let me show you guys. If you want to add a sweetheart neckline, that's like a sweetheart. You all you do, you can just take the shape of the corset like this. You can see like this. Okay. So if you don't want to make it straight, you can just go ahead and do this, and then curve this in like this. So well, you can see that we are done already. So this is like very simple and easy. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to add that here. So for our that, we'll use our bust pan measurement. So our, my bust pan, which is 4.5, so you can see my 4.5 here directly on that, on that bust point. It came out really nicely. So that 4.5, I'm just going to mark it. And then I would use my ruler like this to connect this. I'll use my ruler to connect it. So I'll take out my that. So for the dart, I'll just take out one one inch from the side, like this. So here's what I'm going to do. From this point, I'll take it down like this. And then from this point, I'll take it down. So that's for my dart. So you can see we are done. So if you want to add a basque waistline to this, all I'm going to do when I'm transferring to the fabric, I'll show you guys how to do that. You just add this light, this light. So from this one here, this is where we are going to cut out our inbuilt corset out. So I'll still show you guys. I want us to transfer this first into our fabric. So before then, what I'm going to do, my basic body, this is what I'm going to use for my back. That's minus the cup part. So I'm going to transfer this now to the back. Let me show you guys how to do that. So it's not confusing. So you can see we already have our back piece. So like I said, since we are not adding for the back, I'm just going to trace it from my arm fold area like this. Just cut it out straight. So that's for the back loop. But I'm not adding the loop to this, so it is an off shoulder corset. So this is my back piece. So I'll keep it on the side. And then let's work on the front piece. So for the front piece, we're going to cut this out right now like this. And then I'll just take it out. That is how simple it is. And then the next thing I'm going to do now, I'll cut out my, my cups. So this part, remember this is my one inch. This is my one inches, inch part. One inch is over one inch. So I'm just going to cut out my cup right now. So since I want a straight yoke, I'll go like this. But if I wanted a curve one, I'll go like this. And then I'll open my darts. I've opened up my darts so we are done already. So I'm going to transfer this to my fabric first. Okay guys, so I've placed the front piece. So I'm going to show you how to cut this now. So for the front, I'm adding a basque waistline. So this so i'll just curve it like this so i'm using about 5.5 inches i added it to it to create my basque so this is how i'm going to cut this side so this side is going to be open you understand so i'm going to open up this part this one inch i'm going to use it as my as my boning case so i'll cut this open now So all of these lines, I'm going to add boning on them. So that is why I left it like this. So I don't want to slit it open yet. I want to iron all of my interfacing on it before I slit them open. So it will make it easier for me. So the next thing, I so we'll cut out the front. So this is the back. So this is where for the back, I'm going to open my dart here and then I'll add my boning on that point also. 
Okay, guys, so the next thing I'm going to do now, we're going to create out the inbuilt corset. So I'll just show you that's my back pattern. So this line here is my bust line, and then I have my under bust line, and then my waist line. So I just want you to note all of the this is my bust line, under bust, and then my waist line. So I want you to note what I'm going to do. So this is my zip allowance, so I'm not going to need this. I'm not going to need the zip allowance again. And then for my zip allowance, I'm going to take out as much as 3 inches on my back. That's from for the center back. So it depends on how much tightness you want it to be. So for mine, I'll take out about 3 inches. And then for this uh, corset, I'm not going to take it up. I'm going to, it's going to be from the bust. That's from the bust line. So what I'm trying to say, this top part is not going to be there, so it's not going to be big. So as we go along, you understand what I'm trying to do. For my bust line, and then from the, the waist line, I'm just going to come down by one inch. So this is where I'm going to stop it. So this is the three inches that I was talking about. So I'm not going to be needing this because I'm going to cut this out. So this part is where we're going to add your loop or you add your eyelet, so it depends on what you want. So I'll cut this out now. So I'm not, I'm, I don't want it to get to the top part. So that is why I'm taking this out. But if you want it to get to the top part, you can leave this part. I don't want it to be too big inside. That's the extra inbuilt that I'm adding. So I'll cut this out now. So this is where our loop is going to, to stay. So the loop is going to stay here now. So this one, we're taking this all out. So you can take out two inches, depends on what you want. And then this, I came down by this. So now I'm going to place this now so you have a clear understanding of what I am trying to, of what I'm trying to say. So this is my, this is my back piece now. So this in beauty is going to stay here like this so you can see. So let's just take this out so you get it clear. So this part is going to stay here now. So you see where it's going to start from. So it's starting from this point to this point and then we're going to have our loop, our loops here. So you, it's because it is an inbuilt. So you are going to tie it from the inside, and then we we'll still have our zip on the outer one. So I hope you you get what I'm trying to explain. So this now cut this also out, just the way I cut my back. So this is like an extra. I cut this out now for the inbuilt part. Okay, guys. So you can see all of my lining. And so I've cut them. So this is the inbuilt part. So I'm going to turn them with the lining. So I'll just sew everything and then turn them. And then this is my my front piece. So I've opened, this is the back piece. I've opened it on, on the dart lines. So I'll join them back to create my cake, boning case. And then this is the front piece also. So I'm going to join this. So this part, I'm going to open it up. I'll cut it open and then stitch it back. I don't want to mix sneeze them. So that is why. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And then the center front, I'll join it back also. So I'll do that and then bring them back to the table for you guys to see. Okay guys, so this is the, the inbuilt part of my corset. So I just used something like, just I put a notch here to demarcate it. So I made out some tiny ropes that I'm going to use. So if you want to use loop for this, it does, if you want to use eyelet, all you have to do is, after sewing, and then you can add your eyelet. But I want to add loops to it. So I'm going to add about five loops to this now so i'm just going to place them before i turn with a lining so with that i'll add that after adding all of the the loops on it i will now turn this with a lining so the side i'll turn everywhere i'll just leave out a little piece a little part where i'll turn it so i want you to note that now so that's what i'm trying to do okay guys so i've i've, I've finished stitching the back so this is my back piece so I've stitched and then I've turned it with the lining, just like I explained. And then this is my inbuilt case cases. So I've finished stitching and turning also. So I'll show you later how to attach this to the back. So this goes with the back piece. So now we're going to continue with our front piece. So for the front piece, I finished joining my dart line. So I decided, initially I was going to add a bone in here, but I decided not to add. So I just did double a boning case so if you notice what i did i did the double boning case so for this now i've stitched this down so what i did with the allowance i just put it down and then i'm going to stitch stitch them down to
to pass my boning kiss. So I'm going to have about six boning chambers here in the center front, which is perfect. So I'll do that and then I'll pass my boning in through them like this. So I'll keep this and then for the cup. So I cut out a circle. So you just cut out a circle like if you fold your fabric into four. And then I'm using about 7.5 inches. So I just mark it round. I mark my 7.5 inches. Most of the time I always like, like it to have excess. So it actually helps me not to run into any problem. So I'll place them together and then I'll cut them out. So this is what I'll use to cover my cups. So after covering, after cutting this out, I'm going to open, open them. So I'll put my, just like a contour to, to give it shape. So this is the center front. So I'm trying to, okay. So this is the center. So I'll take the four center. So the next thing I'm going to do from this point, now, so this is the center. So I'm going to take out my darts like this from it. So I'll take out about half, half of an inch from my pattern. Or you could do one inch. So this is my bra cup. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place it like this here. I'm going to open it up and then I'll check before I continue. Okay, guys, so I'm going to fix my bra cup now. So for the center part of my bra cup, I just added a little notch here. So this will help me know that where I'm going to start stitching from. So I'm going to use this as guide. So this one, I've not done the top stitch. I'm going to stitch top stitch it, iron it and top stitch it. So now I'm going to place this here now. And then I'm going to start stitching. So I'll complete the other part. So you can see they are staying on the same line. So I'll complete this other part now. Okay guys, so you can see, so I'm almost done. So I've finished stitching. So I did a top stitch just to, to secure it. So for the, this part, I decided to open this center part a little bit more. So I want to have like a plunging neckline on, on my corset. So that's why I did that. If not, normally it's supposed to be closed and then I'll just sew it straight. So the next thing, so I've, ironed, I've done my lining piece. So the same thing, the way I did the, the, the bodies, that's what I did. So the next thing is just for me to place this now. And then I will just sew and turn just like this, just the same way you sew and turn your clothes. So I'm not making an inseam. So I'll just turn it. And then after turning, I'll bring it back and show you guys how to join the back and the front together. Okay, guys, so we are almost done with our corsets now. So I have all of my pieces scattered all over the table. So I'm going to show you guys how to do the final coupling of our in built corset top so this is the front piece so you can see in the inside so i left since i'm turning everything so this is just what is left for me so i just opened up this part to turn it so once i'm done i'll use the top stitch and then i'll secure it down and then so you can see how my corset looks like came out fine so i've added my bone in inside of it so it has more structure now inside so this is my back piece also. So for the back, I've added all of the bonings also on it. And then this is the inbuilt part of it. So now I'm going to show you guys what we are going to do now. So I'll take this. So I know you note your my zip allowance part. So this is the side. So this is the side that I have my side seam. And then this is my zipper allowance part. So I'm going to be working with my dart lines here so here i'm going to take this just like the way we did yesterday and then i'm going to place it on the side seam like this so you can see how it is looking so this is going to stay like this because of the zip allowance and then this is going to come like this and then i'm going to take this making sure that all of my points that's the the measurements are accurate so this is two inches 
from the top this is two inches from the top so it's going to stay like this here on the side seam so i'll take this back to my machine now and then i will secure it here and then i will secure here also so after securing it that way this is my front piece and then i'm going to take this like this so this stays inside okay i'll do that and then bring it back and show you okay guys so if you so you can see the way i, I placed them so this part that i added this mark here this is my zip allowance part so i placed them i wanted the anchor to show on this side so if not you, you can turn it however you want to turn it but so since if not i would have put this here and then put this one here but since i want my anchor to show that's when you when you turn it like this okay yeah so when it is like this so when you open up like this so the anchor i wanted the anchor to show here so if i wanted this one to show i'll place it the other way around so you can see how it is looking now so if we have our inbuilt so i'm going to show you guys how to connect so this is our side seam for our for our corset so you can see so this is going to stay like this here and then and then this is going to stay here like this on the side so i'm going to hold this on my zip allowance part so you can see i hold my zip allowance and then i have this part to, to snatch in my waist from the inside so it really looks really beautiful so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to take my full body measurement on my side seam i'll join this part like this and then i will join this part like this also and then i will so i'm trying to place it so i need to retrim this part a little bit and then i'll fix my zip and then i'll bring it back and show you guys so it, it, it really looks really beautiful okay guys so at the end of the day you can see how our in beauty corset looks like it actually came out really fine so you can see the inside so when you i you add your rope you just use this to snatch in the waist inside so it actually came out really fine so i did not do an inseam finishing i just did a normal side finishing okay so thank you so much if you find this video helpful please hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed to my channel already this really this is really beautiful please subscribe so i like this video thank you so much guys i'll see you in my next video Bye. Bye.